Hi, Thumos, and welcome back, guys. Hope you're having an amazing day. We got to talk about, you know, be, dude, being kind, man. We got to be kind. We got to have some goodness in our life. And I'm guilty of kind of forgetting how important it is, how essential it is to be kind, to be positive, you know, to, to really just be a positive light in other people's life. And if you have anything, if you don't have anything, well, you do have that. You know, you can bring uh, goodness and you can have this quality about you that separates you from a lot of other people. Because let's face it, you know, it's it's hard to be kind these days. It's hard to really have a uh, like like this disposition for good that there's this wanting to the best for other people, wanting to to wish someone well. And I think that's because we're often online and usually with these short statements, you can just go on the YouTube comment section and you'll see that you don't have a lot of kindness. You see arguments. You can, you can literally find an argument. I guarantee you just look at the comment section. There's an argument. Not on this channel though, but uh, you know, it happens. Twitter, it happens everywhere. So we're writing, we forget that our words have power. The Bible says your tongue is like a two-edged sword. Your words are, they could be a blessing or a curse, like venom. And so we got to be, I think we should really try to bring this back. You know, take a look at yourself like I'm doing now. You know, I had to be real myself. How have I stopped being kind and um, becoming unaware of how my words impact others? From the people that are closest to me to the people that I talk to online with you guys. Let me not be so caught up in my head where I'm forgetting that, that what I say creates ripples and it does have an effect on the reader. It does impact that person. It could impact them for ill or it can impact them for good. And I want to leave them feeling better off when they interact with me. And I think that's crucial these days. And I think we're not using that to our advantage. It's really everything if you think about it because people are all that we have and the more that we get isolated and we turn away from this and we get more caught up in our heads well we become more individual and the world is kind of set up this way too with capitalism and now everyone you see sort of it's like you go on instagram and you see people talking about entrepreneurship <coughs> you see people uh, trying to make money and, and it's kind of higher status to have your own business. It's really not though. Like that's not the way things are supposed to be. The world doesn't really need more businesses. There's plenty of businesses. And when you're kind of stuck in this of always obtaining more and getting more, just making money, it's like such a shallow existence, dude. And it's very unfulfilling. And it always feels like you need more and more and more. And it's very hard. It's, it's, it's actually very hard to have a business and to really be successful. You, you could just look at the analytics. You look at the numbers and you see that most businesses don't make money. They break even. A lot of businesses go bankrupt. And so it's, it's not all this, uh, if you're stuck in that mindset, and you, it's just because you're consuming too much content. And you're looking at it wrong. You've been taught wrong. And it's really not true. I think what we need is to be of service. Seriously, we need to be of service to with the energy, with the skills, with the talents that we have right now. And we need to be willing to look for opportunities to be of service to other people. And and if, if more men were sort of um, had this mindset, I believe, and got away from the individual, I'm going to make it, grind, 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 I'm going to, you know, just, I'm going to make it, then what we would have is a lot of guys finding a lot of opportunities. Because when you're kind to people, and you're willing to help them and to make their life better, you know, to, to provide them something, they'll help you also. And they'll show you opportunities. I mean, there's a ton of old, older business owners that are is looking for that young blood, that young energy, the vitality to come in and to shake things up and to sort of, if you're good with computers, you know, that's always in demand that you could help someone big time. Um, you know, and, and it's another thing too, just about taking the time to get to, to know the people in your environment. This is one thing I 
have been trying to do with um, the people at my jiu-jitsu gym, the guys, you know, not to gain something from them, but just to get to know the people that are there, that I'm around. And, and some of these guys are awesome, man. Like, there's firefighters there, there's police officers, there's a dang fire chief there. I mean, there's there's a psychologist, there's one guy who's a, a lawyer, and um, just so much that you could learn from these people. And I see how easy it would be not to even talk to them, you know, just to like, okay, I'm gonna go here and do jujitsu and then I'm gonna leave. And I would be missing out big time. And I think that this, this is sort of too easy to do these days is to just get in your lane and to put on the blockers and to ignore people. But then when you start going down the road, you may find success and I hope you do, you know, but you just, you run into like this unfulfilling place because you've been sort of blocking out other people. You stop trying to help. You stop being that, that light, you know, you got to shine that light, man. You got to, the world needs you to be a light. It needs the goodness that you can give. And when you're online all the time and you're watching this doom content and uh, you know, you're just filled with criticizing the world all the time. You just lose that kindness. You, your light becomes a little bit more dim. So we got to bring it back. And this is a video, you know, I, I really want to make this change in my life because I realize the immense power of your words and of your energy and how that can, that can lift people's spirits and it can raise them from a bad place. You know, it can give them hope. And then to go from there and take that and to make it a habit, make it a part of your life and to, to be of service to other people, to have, to open up new opportunities. That's what we should be looking for. We shouldn't be looking for just how to, how to gain and consume and how can I get this real quick? And no, dude, how can we create more opportunities for ourselves, for others? How can we work together? How can we share? Because what is a life if it's void of other people? You know, it sounds pretty boring to me. Um, people that you care about, people that you love, people that you're in it together, you know, in it to win it. Um, and it takes time, you know, it takes patience. But with that being said, you know, it, it is super important that you pay attention to yourself and if you're being real. When you meet someone, this is just kind of the second part of the video is like when you meet someone, you want to make sure that when you're meeting someone for the first time that you do not show them a, a false hollow gram of you, you know, like a, a false representation of yourself. Because as time goes on and that relationship develops, they'll get to expect from you how you present yourself in the very beginning. It'll become expected from them. They will, they will, uh, and you will feel like you need to sort of play up to that. And then if you break that representation that you put out in the beginning, then uh, it's more likely you become an asshole. Um, for instance, you know, I met this guy recently, didn't know him, you know, kind of just shook his hand. Hey. Um, it was at the gym, it was at the, the jiu-jitsu, and I, I just, you know, this kind of when it occurred to me, because he was telling me stuff, and I'm like, he, you know, the, the stuff he was going through, he broke up with his his wife, he had a divorce, he had some stuff going on to him, but he was complaining, and I just told him straight up, like, look, dude, you're, you know, you, there's no complaint, you can't complain about this, you got to take responsibility, and I was thinking, why, well, why don't, wouldn't I talk to my friends like that, why wouldn't I tell this guy my mind, how I speak, and it was because I haven't represented myself correctly and I w I w I've been fake in the past you know I've been fake I don't want to be fake with you guys I don't want to be fake with anyone and we have to be real when we meet people we have to we have to really be real and not try to be a people pleaser you be you be kind and you you are you have goodness in your heart but when you're being fake and you're trying to gain people's approval um, that's deception and that's deceitful and so you want to be real and you want to call out BS and people actually respect you for that. Okay. Um, now obviously, you know, don't be, uh, don't be, how would you say this? Have empathy, show respect. There's a way to do it, you know, but I would set the tone of the relationship from the get go of honesty, respect, and, um, you know, just, yeah, honesty being precise and, and not tiptoeing around feelings, not not worried too much about them and how they 
feel about you. Like, you know, you're you. If they like you, they like you. If, if not, then they don't. Um, but yeah, man, set the tone because eventually it's going to bite you. It's going to bite you if you feel like, man, like, why do I feel like I'm not being authentic right now? Well, because you kind of set yourself up for that. So that's really important. That's really important. When you get to know people, make sure you're being real and make sure you're sticking to your truth, your guns, you're speaking how you you would, you know, how you want. You're not hiding uh, from speaking, speaking your mind. So that's that, man. Let's uh, shine the light, man. Shine the light. The world needs it. And we got to be the ones to bring it because everyone's sort of under this. They're getting hypnotized, you know. They're getting hypnotized. Anger's too easy. It's too easy to grab onto anger and, and to just be mad at everything. It's too dang easy. It, it, but it doesn't do anything for your life. And the more that you kind of shake that off you and you wake up from it, well, life gets a lot better. And you realize you're a powerful individual. You know, you are a very powerful individual. And there's nothing else that needs to be said. Because, you know, if you don't believe that, you don't see it, you just, you need to come into the light, man. You need to realize that your words have power. You have power. You have purpose on this earth. You got to go forward in that, in that knowing. All right? So that's that, guys. Hi, Thumos. Hope you're having a great Wednesday. If you're not in our group yet, join us. We have Thumotic Mondays. Every Monday we jump in. We do a live talk. And uh, it's a great group. I think you guys would really appreciate it. So I'll see you in there. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.